Hi there, my name is Luke B. I'm an ENT surgeon working for the NHS in central London. And today I want to tell you about a very short video, actually, about how to avoid removing the bones of hearing during a cholesteatoma surgery. So just in case you, you don't know about this stuff, a cholesteatoma is a collection of cells, not a cancer, but it sort of acts a little bit like a cancer. It's a collection of cells that slowly increase in size and eat away the bone around it, causing damage havoc inside your ear. In this situation where there's a cholesterol which is slowly increasing, it will cut through bone, including the bones of hearing. Now, some of you will remember uh, malleus, incus, stapes, and these three bones are the ones that can be first to be affected, the first bones to be damaged by this cholesterol. In some situations, particularly if it's quite small, these cholesterol can be caught early enough so that, yes, the cholesterol is going around these bones of hearing, and starting to eat them away. But we don't really, I mean, in a normal situation, you look at it and go, oh, it's gone all the way around the bones. We're gonna to have to remove those bones uh, and see if we can reconstruct the hearing some other way. And so you do lose a bit of hearing when you do this. What you can do, rather than removing the bones and trying to reconstruct it later, what you can do is use a laser, a KTP laser, to try and sort of vaporize the cholesterol. It doesn't vaporize bone very well, and the risk of that cholesterol coming back is even less than if you went in there and started removing everything and drilling everything flat. So actually, the recurrence rate, the rate of it coming back is much less in these situations if you use the laser. So I love using the laser. It's great because it's better for my patients. It takes a bit longer and it's quite hard um, to use it in certain situations because, yes, it's very close to the bones of hearing. But there are other structures which you don't want to hit with the laser, which are close to the bones of hearing. There's a nerve called the corda tympani. That's the nerve that goes to your sense of taste on one side of your tongue. That could be damaged with a laser. So you've got to be careful about doing that. Often it's damaged anyway because the cholesterol is already eaten away through that. The other thing is that the nerve to your face, the, the facial nerve that comes around here and deals with the muscles of facial expression. So if you lost it, your face would drop down. Or if you lasered it by mistake, your face would drop down. It's quite scary waving a laser around in that area. So you've got to be very, very careful. And in some cases, you're trying to get round a corner because um, I've done a video recently on a canal wall up and a canal wall down operation. You need to keep the canal wall up because these bones of hearing are attached to that, that wall that I talk about, the, the wall coming up or down. But sometimes to get a laser around that corner is very difficult and often you end up using a mirror, that you use a mirror, you find the area behind that wall, you go, ah, oh, I can see that, bouncing the light off that mirror. Okay, what I'm gonna do is bounce a laser off there, back behind there, so you can get to that cholesterol around that corner. So there is this technique, summarizing now, there is this technique where you can use a laser, so rather than removing the bones of hearing, you laser this cholesterol off it, so you don't have to remove it. So later on, your hearing, levels are as good as they can be because you've still got your original bones of hearing sitting there whilst also reducing the risk of the cholesterol coming back again. And um, I just wanted to let you know. And if you ask your surgeon about it, I'm sure they'll be able to do it for you if they've had the training or whatever. Do take care. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.